Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will discuss how to onboard VH using CLI and this is our uh, set where we have vManage, vSmart and vBot already we brought this up using CA certificate and now we are going to uh, bring up the VH using the CLI so for that you need to uh, log into the uh, Cisco smart account because to uh, bring the uh, VH uh, into production so what you need to do is you need to uh, get the file from the Cisco website so I'll show you how to do it log into your uh, Cisco smart account go into uh, virtual uh, accounts if you don't have any virtual account created then create a virtual account the next step is uh, is to fill up the details uh, that is the uh, name then the description then the parent account then access level whether it is a private or it is a public you need to select uh, so once you select click next then click on uh, add profile then add software devices then uh, this is uh, the software device and how many device you want to add and what is the control profile name that's not a mandatory you can give any name but you need to uh, mention you need to from the base PID you need to select VH cloud hyphen DNA and then uh, put like how many quantity you want to test in your lab setup so put that much quantity then click save so once you save then uh, there is an option for you uh, to provision the file click on provision the file that's it then you will get the uh, Beptella file we, that we can upload into our uh, Cisco vManage so uh, now already uh, into Cisco vManage in the last uh, video we, we have seen that uh, how to bring up uh, vBond, vSmart and vManage and you can click on device devices here you can see so already i have v manage v smart and v bond so now what you have to do is click here go to configuration then click on devices so you have an option to upload the vanage list so click here and you can choose your file and you can uh, click here and you can click on the file right so this is the file that I downloaded from the Cisco website. So click here and click here, validate the uploaded and send to the controllers. I've already done that. So I'm not, uh, uh, you know, hitting it, submit, I'm just cancel it. So after doing that, you will uh, get this, uh, uh, you know, all the, all the list will be populated in this page. Once it is populated, then what we have to do is we, are, we have to sort it with the VH so now we have the chassis number and we have the token okay so next uh, we will log into the uh, this vh2 first we need to uh, bootstrap the router to bring it online so we have to do the uh, basic configurations admin admin is the default is username and password yeah configure then go inside system then host name uh2 then it's ask for organization name give the organization name which you have used it while bringing up the controller so this is the organization name so i'm just giving the organization name okay uh, then the system IP so system IP for the setup uh, I'm using uh, 10.255.255 so for site 31 I use 31 uh, site 32 I will use dot 32 Then we need to give the vbond IP. You can give the IP or you can give the uh, name if you have the DNS uh, is already configured. I don't have the DNS configured, so I am just giving the IP directly. This is a vbond controller. 
right click and you need to configure the site ID so I'm giving site ID is 32 okay then give commit then we'll go back okay then what we'll do we'll go inside VPN 0 show full configuration to check the interface then go inside the interface then IP address so basically in our setup uh, here we have the WAN link consider and you have the IP uh, internet IP reachability towards your V bond uh, V manager and V smart so I'm going to configure this WAN link so the IP that for the WAN link is this 21 I use so I'm gonna use this slash dot two here and two and slash 24 okay then inside the tunnel interface as it is an already uh, you know the lab environment I'm allowing all the services so full configuration command but even if I allow like hello like it says no like I'll just enable this just making sure that there is no hello no before hello yeah so mainly we need uh, the protocols because we'll configure from VH OSPF towards the service provider and BGP and uh, we need uh, you know SSH D and netconf to be allowed so yeah we have done that okay then show interface pipe app yeah the interface is up so let me check the okay so what I didn't I didn't give the uh, default route I didn't configure it so I'm configuring the default route now so that I'll have the full reachability yeah commit so whenever you do a change so you do the commit So let's check the reachability first 21.0.0.1 first next stop. Okay. okay. Let me check from the remote end. This is the IP. Okay, 21.0. Okay. Here it is shut down, so that's the reason it's not able to ping. Interface. let me try to ping yeah now I have the reachability now let me ping the uh, V bond and V manager and check the connectivity yeah we have the reachability yes now we have the reachability the next is install the root certificate so the root certificate what we have installed in vmanage the same root certificate that we will install here also so for that we go inside the vision SAP admin at the red db manager IP then the path uh, let me quickly check the file name root ca dot pm the extension let me check okay sorry it doesn't have the reachability so let me check the so I didn't sorry I didn't check that it says that destination host unreachable 
so let me quickly check it so I have the default route towards that so from here I'll, I'll be going here the next stop then after that I should check here show IP route let me check if I'm able to ping from here okay actually for everything to connect right so basically we need to check the connectivity so th that is the first step of action like first check the reachability So what I did here, uh, I should use show running configuration. I think I use the router ID instead of the interface IP. That's the reason like I was not able to do a SCP and the vbond IP is this, this range. Yeah, that's my bad vision. Again, we will use the same command admin. Then the password. Okay. I didn't change the password. Okay, it's downloaded, so it takes some time. Yeah, then exit to so here, like. Give the command a request root cert so yeah before installing we'll check whether the that is the one thing before checking whether we have the okay we have it is installed because we are using in evng the same image so it's saying that it is installed so first let me remove this so that we can install request the same command root search chain uninstall so this command will do the uninstallation so again you check here you can see now it is not installed so now let's install it instead of uninstall exit use install command then give the path yes now it is installed so again let's check the same command output yeah here you can see now it is installed so once you do hit this command you will see the installed the root certificate okay the next is pick up the uh, the serial number and the token from the GUI of vManager then we use it using CLI command from VH to onboard the device further I'm going here so what I'm going to do is now let me pick this Then go to the CLI, use a command, request VH Cloud, activate, then chassis number, okay, and the token. So token again, I'm going to copy from here.
yeah click enter then wait for some time and meanwhile i can show you a few things you can do the uh, show interface by tab so anyway uh, so let's do a tcp dump to verify the connectivity towards the v bond yeah tcp dump interface ge 0 slash 0 yeah here you can see the from the tcp dump there is a connectivity is going between the v bond and the vh router here you can see that so this is nothing but the the tls connection between the vh and the v bond okay let's quickly log into the v manager here you can see v manager also is using the same dtls connection tunnel through which that packets are going between the v agent v manager and v bond so let's log in here and let us click refresh yeah now here you can see guys the v cloud right vh cloud and it has the serial number so next is we click on the we click here on we click on monitor then we click on device yeah now you see this one vh2 it is now onboarded yeah it takes some time to get the details of cpu and memory utilization so that's all guys uh, this is how that we have to uh, board the uh, vh using the cli and thank you very much for watching